Hello there, today I'll be teaching you how to add the illusion of depth of field to your video footage. It's probably the most common question that I get regarding my cinematics and short films is how do I get this sort of blurry, out of focus camera lens effect. Now it's actually very simple and easy to do and it goes a long way to making your footage much more dynamic and interesting to look at. Okay, so we're going to add the depth of field look to this footage here of a pilot walking by some Spitfires with this UH-1 in the background. Now I'm using Sony Vegas for this, but you should be able to do this with just about any video editing software. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is copy and duplicate our footage right on top of each other. Now what we want the effect to do is have the camera sort of focus on this pilot with everything else in the background uh, sort of blurry and out of focus. I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. Uh, one very, very simple way and one slightly more complex way. Alright, so we'll go to our top layer and we're going to need to add a blur effect. In Sony Vegas, I like to use their built-in de uh, defocus. So we'll add that. You can see what it's doing right away. Uh, it's way, way over the top, but we'll tone it down in a second. And now we'll go to our pan crop and we're going to need to draw a mask of the area that we want the camera to be focused on. This is a really quick and easy way to do it, is just to grab the circular mask sort of draw it around the area that you want the camera to be focused on it's probably good enough and we'll go ahead and invert that so boom you can see the effects start to take shape there now we need to feather it we'll go ahead and feather both and then just max it all the way out go back to our defocus and we're going to need to turn this way down I like 0.476 it's usually my default go to then I adjust from here and that actually looks pretty good right off the bat. So you can see oh, a little bit of a mistake there. Put the mask in the middle of the footage. All right. So now that we've got our footage here, you can see as the pilot walks, he stays in focus the whole time while the background is out of focus. Very, very simple and easy to do and sells the illusion uh, pretty well. Now if you want to make it a bit more realistic and have some more of this foreground in focus, you can use a freehand mask. Go back to the beginning here and delete this mask. And we'll just go ahead and draw a really quick rough mask here not going to be too careful. You actually don't need to be too precise anyways. Again, make it negative, we'll feather, and then bump that all the way out. So you get the same effect, but then you get some more of this foreground in focus. It's a bit more realistic, takes a little bit more time, um, but it sells the shot even more. Okay, so another reason for using this effect is that it draws the viewer's eye to whatever you want them to be focused on in a scene. So if you take this shot here of the instrument panel of the Spitfire, it looks pretty cool, but you've got all sorts of things going on here, and the viewer may not know exactly what you want them to look at. And in this case, we want them to look at the airspeed. Now, it's not doing anything right now because I'm parked, but say if the scene was... Uh, the plane going into a dive or about to stall, you'd want to see them to be focused on this needle either rising dramatically or falling dramatically. So we'll do the same thing here. Go ahead and copy and duplicate that footage. And I'm going to show you uh, another way of doing this in Sony Vegas, the way that I usually do it uh, right off the bat. So we'll do the same thing, add defocus. And we're actually going to add another effect called the cookie cutter. So what the cookie cutter does is just sort of automatically draws a mask for you. Very simple shapes. And it allows you to tune it very easily. Oops, there we go. So I like to use this one just because it's faster than having to draw the mask every time yourself. And we'll go ahead and bump the feathering way up. We'll increase the size. Go to our defocus. And we'll keep this a bit higher this time. We'll try 0.75. And 
that already looks much better so you can see this is very much in focus while everything else is very very out of focus and you can just come back to the cookie cutter and just tune the size and tune the feather until it gives you the effect that you want so if this was a scene boom you cut to this everything else is out of focus and your eyes immediately drawn to the airspeed indicator very simple and easy trick to do and again it just makes everything in the scene look much more real much more cinematic well that about wraps it up for this video hopefully this is a technique that you can use in your own future videos if you want to learn about say color grading and getting your stock footage from this to something more like this much more cinematic looking uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments leave a like on this video happy new year and i'll see you guys in the next one